Hi everybody, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. We're here at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale today. Today's Sunday gear review. Thank you to Big Tech's Outdoor for bringing it. I ordered a Urban Carry Lock Leather because I had people ask me about it. So I paid 56 real American dollars for this. And um, well, all aboard the fail boat. Woot woot. Big Tech's Outdoors has holsters, accessories, optics, and other parts that you need as a self-defender. I'm one of his customers and I recommend him highly. Check out the page on our website with our favorite deals. Guys, uh, you know that I have done stuff on the, the uh, Urban Carry, the G3, the, you know, below the, I haven't done the G3, I did the G1. Uh, I have a G3 as well, I'll do that one another day. But I ordered this one off their website. I went to their website and said, I have an HK VP9. This is an HK VP9. Uh, and I said, which one do I order it for? And they asked me all these questions and did all this stuff. They said, order this one, John. I said, great, send it to me. It was 56 real American dollars, and they did. So again, three requirements of a holster. Number one, it covers the trigger guard completely. Number two, it holds the firearm securely. And number three, it allows access to the firearm reliably. So uh, we do those in order because the first one, does it cover the trigger guard completely, is a safety issue. So here's what I did. I got my VP9 and I cleared it. Empty gun, empty gun. Okay, fine. Now, a uh, little quick tip. How do I put a gun in a holster without pointing the gun at myself? I see people point guns at themselves all the time. Hold it by the bottom like this. So then I tip in to it that I never put my hand in front. Now, the thing with this lock leather is it has this thing in here. I don't know that I can show it to you. If you go to their website, you can see it. It's got like a little plastic insert on the inside that um, is like a clip. And so it kind of grabs a hold of the front of the trigger guard in order to hold the gun in the holster. Um, so it kind of is supposed to click in like Kydex, but be comfortable like leather, okay? Fine, so I put it in there. It's a little tight still. And now it's completely in. It just had the click. I spy with my little eye opening. And now some people are going to go, yeah, but John, the trigger is forward of that. Yes, that's true. However, why do we say this is a bad idea? So now again, I have large fingers. I wear size XL gloves. They are fat fingers. Okay, fine. And can I, yep, can get my finger right in there and actually get this gun to go off. Now it took me a minute to, to get my finger in there to do that. But the fact of the matter is I can do it. You go, wait a minute, John, you really kind of couldn't do it. Did you hear the gun go off? Let's do it again. Okay, now it's in there. It's in the spot where it would be. Click, did you hear it? That's a fail. All aboard the fail boat. This is a failure as a holster. Now, I did, I did put a similar thing on Instagram um, and some people said, John, I ordered one for my gun and it covers it completely. Okay, I believe you and I don't think you're lying. I'm just saying, um, this is the, I. I ordered the gun. I said an HK VP9 full size. This is an HK9 uh, VP9 full size and, and, it, and it utterly fails. They, they said buy this holster, John, on their website. I did. It fails. Now, uh, we could talk about their other stuff from there. Does it hold the firearm securely? I think that if I'm not pinching it, yeah, it does. Uh, I, you know, I think that the lock leather piece will actually hold it in place after the leather kind of loosens up and the leather should loosen up. It's what it's designed to do. So that should work okay. Does it allow access reliably? Um, well, yes and no, okay? So my big thing here is, is the fact that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of show you this, is that the top of the belt here, is such that the, the top of the belt loop, you can see right here, would not allow me. So if I was at the top of the belt loop here, I would have a very hard time getting a full grip on the gun. So it would start to impinge because the very top of my belt is right here. And so as you can see at the top of my finger, I can't see all of this. I want to be able to get all that. I really want the top of my belt to be under this. And this one doesn't, and it's not adjustable. So I think that it would be difficult to get out of there and I would want that to be adjustable and it's not. And, and so um, secondly, I don't really like these, these kind of steel clip style because it doesn't have like the, the discrete carry concepts clip that's got a, a holder in it. It doesn't have that so this can slip off my belt. So I don't like that. I don't think it's unsafe, but I also don't think, I think that where they had this, it's a little high and it should be just a little bit lower. So it doesn't allow access to the firearm reliably as well as it could. And so I don't like that. But, but the biggest thing, guys, again, I can get my hand in there and press the trigger. Now you go, but John, you're an idiot if you do that. I, I don't disagree, but again, if I have something in there, I get something because, because this is sitting outside my belt and something gets down in there, like, I don't know, I'm wearing a jacket and the, the you know, little string gets down inside there and when I pull my jacket off, it gets you know, hung up in there and pulls. 
That kind of stuff can happen, you guys. And so um, this uh, lock leather, all aboard the fail boat, it's no good. Don't buy. Zero out of 10. No. Bad. Fail. 